This is one of the most current fun packs. Well, here is the journal that I made with mine. And I love this thing. It is so huge. Got a lot of uh, junk and strings, and this is for a specific purpose. I will show you this journal in a separate video because I want you to see the whole thing. But let me show you what's in the most current fun pack. Uh, there's a piece of lace that I don't think it's cotton. It seems to be polyester, but I had quite a bit of this on hand, so everybody's got a big piece of that. These are fun. So I found some empty containers that had, I think, maybe some sort of pen inside. These containers had really fun uh, graphics, but what I was interested in is this thing on the inside. And let me see if I can, can take this out and show you. Well, I'm interested in the whole thing, but, um, and this, this container is mine. I don't want to mess up one that is going out in the mail. Um, but you just kind of work it out. And this is such a fun shape to dip into paint and then make patterns on your art journal paper. And you not only have this, you have this big rim here and you have a smaller rim here, but you can also use this as a container to keep something in. Oh, a tornado rollerball pen, okay. And uh, donut dollies, I love this container. I've got a, some, a purpose for that in mind. Anyway, that's what this is for. This is another fun shape that's included that you can use to make uh, marks on your paper and each one has a cork like this that you can also use and one of these I think this might be something that's used in a lab to hold samples uh, Maybe like an immunology lab or something like that Histology, it's really fun to paint across this and get that shape So there are some fun shape makers in here. Each one has got a cute little knit envelope Obviously, this was something from Christmas time. It says Starbucks Coffee Company. This is a gift card holder, but it's also really cute to be able to put um, mementos or ephemera or something like that in. Each one has a little greeting card that's a butterfly. I can't decide if I'm gonna write notes in mine or cut the butterfly out and glue it in. Each one has got a vintage book cover. They're all this marbled look. Let me just show you the other sets because I don't want there to be any question. These are the same size. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's, it's not a whole lot smaller. Now you don't have to use these covers the way I did. You can put them in your stash and use them for something else. I did use mine for book covers and I used the fabric in this kit to make my journal. And I will show you that in the next video. One of the things in this kit there are some book pages with this beautiful coloring, just this really beautiful coloring. They're almost like the old postcards. And see, you can see what I'm talking about. I wouldn't call this a completely matte page, but it is also an older page. It's not like the modern glossy pages. Just look at the color in that. I uh, went through these pages and tried to separate them out so that like each pack has got a picture of a beautiful lady that's in color and each picture has got some images like everybody's got an image with women in hats or a woman in a hat uh, every every pack has got a black and white image of a woman and what I love about these it talks about these different places in the British Isles or Western Europe so you're gonna you know read about these different islands and you get the information right under the pictures and i'll show you what i did with mine so then we get into pictures that out that are landscapes or city images just absolutely beautiful so like there's the pyrenees uh this is ireland it's just, I mean, they're, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. St. Paul's Cathedral. There's Edinburgh. And then I used a piece of this for the spine of my book. Each one has got a piece of this. I covered mine with fabric. I think you could probably fold this and crack it. I'm not gonna try to do that because I don't wanna mess this up, but it is nice once you glue it and cover it with fabric. Each one has got a piece of this like handmade paper sample 
This one's got a little tear in the top, but uh, it says rosemary and onion, 50-50. And then each one has a page from, it was a larger art, like a poster, that was probably a promotional thing because it's from a museum. And then we have a couple of pages from a book that are left so that you can use them just like they are or you can tear them apart. Each one has a little um, cast off or cut off, whatever you wanna call it, from this really pretty scrapbook paper that I used to make a couple of journals last week. And then each one has got some pieces from a music book. And these are older, but the paper is pretty sturdy. Uh, I like these. And then I love these, so let's see. I'm gonna put this under here for a minute. And you'll see why. So each one has just a few of these old music scores. Uh, they're they're pretty worn, and you know they're all they're all gonna be about the same. They're not the not the most perfect things, but you can still use them. Um, like this one's got Audrey Hepburn. Just really really fun and you might decide to cut out an image or just to use the whole thing. I use the whole thing to make book pages. Then each pack has got several pieces of this linen and then these are all samples. So this is a different kind of fabric. I love that it still had the price, those little, um, they're like tags for price stickers, but it's got the color on it. And then we just have almost a complete fabric pack in these fun packs. All these little pieces that you can use to make pockets or um, to reinforce your pages. You can make tabs. These are fun because you have this sticker at the top. All of these are silk samples. And uh, all of the pattern on these is Geller. But like the color here is Kiwi. And then you have Olive, Larkspur, Federal, Hyacinth, Pink Petal, that one doesn't have a sticker. There's Copper, Desert, Sand, and Lipstick. And then just more pieces of fabric. This is kind of a large piece. You know, you might decide you want to do a soft cover journal and glue the hard cover on the front. There are so many things you can do. This is really heavy. I tell you what I did with mine. It's sitting on the desk with this cup that's got really strong coffee. I'm not drinking this coffee. That's the coffee I use to stain pages. So if you ever see a cup sitting on the desk and it looks like it's full of lint and debris, that's probably not the one I'm drinking. Anyway, I used mine for a coaster and all the rest of it went into the book. And I, I might still put that in the book. Right now, I don't care if it gets coffee on it. I love this piece that's got the letters and then each one has a long piece from a sample that was a lace embroidered design. And that's really pretty. Each one has a piece of fabric that's got the leaves on it. And then that's a nice heavy upholstery fabric. Each one has a piece of this, but I think the other two packs don't have the fringe. So, you know, two, two packs have got no fringe, and I think this one has got the fringe. But it's all, it's the same size, and it's the same fabric. And then we have this pretty piece of quilted fabric. I think you could use that either way. And then that embroidered fabric. And then this large piece, that's a fabric sample. And then this pretty embroidered piece. And then we have some smaller pieces. And I love this. This is like a faux leather. Feels like some sort of vinyl. And we have this. We have this little lace piece. And this larger piece, it um, feels like a really heavy linen. And we have these couple of fun pieces. Then we have paper. You have, I think, 10 pages of this. It's a nice weight paper. So 10 pages of that. And then we have a few pages of this white. Uh, it's close to, it's a heavyweight paper. It's not quite cardstock. 
but it's a heavyweight paper. And then we have a few pieces of this stationery with the cherubs or angels. I know they're two different creatures, but sometimes it's hard to tell in artwork. And then these really bright, fun pages from a book that just had these pretty shelves. This was all about pubs. And, you know, you can use these for book pages. You can uh, just cut parts of these out to decorate with. And you can see, I love this, this look. Um, the stuff everywhere. And that's why I put that at the back, because that's one of those. So that's the whole pack. And uh, I only have three of these. I did save one for myself because I'm going to be going on a trip, and I want to take a really large, uh, junky, chunky journal with me to be able to glue artwork into and glue ephemera into and write in journal journal entries with my Sharpie pens. I'm just going to write right on top of things that are already in the book. So it's going to make a really good junk journal slash travel book. But um, these are available. I will put a link on my blog and I'll be back to show you that journal that I made. Okay, bye for now.